Greetings to everyone. I am Aman Sudhana, studying chemical engineering at NIT Trichy, currently as a sophomore. My project is about heat transfer enhancement techniques and their thermal performance factor. So let's begin. So I intro to heat transfer enhancement. Why do we need it? Such techniques are very helpful for improving heat transfer efficiency, reducing the cost and minimizing the environmental impact of industries on surrounding. Heat transfer plays a crucial role in various industrial systems like chemical reactors, heat exchangers, refrigeration systems and power plant. Key parameter in this is about thermal performance factor. It is a key metric which evaluates the effectiveness of heat transfer enhancement techniques in practical applications. So before that, let me tell you what are the two ways of heat transfer enhancement techniques. So first one is active method, second one is passive method. In active method, an external power source is used to enhance heat transfer. And in passive method, there are some inner changes in the heat exchanger which enhance the heat transfer. So in this we will be discussing some techniques about passive heat transfer enhancement techniques. So the first one is twisted tape inserts. So in this, the twisted tape inserts induce a swirling flow within the fluid which increase turbulence and thus disrupt the thermal boundary layer. Uh, because of this, the convective heat transfer is enhanced and it's a very effective and most researched technique in passive methods. Some of the key parameters in this are twist ratio, twist tape width and thickness. Lower twist ratios typically result in high heat transfer rates but also increase the friction factor and coming to its thermal performance factor that is TPF value it is generally between 1.2 and 1.6 depending on design and operating conditions a high TPF denotes that the heat exchanger is good in thermal heat exchange but also simultaneously the pressure drop and friction fa factor will increase and a low TPF value will denote that it has low heat transfer enhancement rate but also lower pressure drop. So the next one is wire coil inserts. Wire coil inserts generate secondary flows within the fluid enhancing turbulence and improving heat transfer. This makes them particularly effective in laminar and transitional flow regions. Key parameters in this are pitch ratio and coil diameter. Lower pitch ratios generally increase heat transfer rates while the coil diameter affects turbulent intensity. And the TPF in this is generally up to 1.36 at lower Reynolds number. So the next technique is about surface roughness and corrugation. Surface roughness and corrugation techniques enhance heat transfer by disrupting the laminar sublayer and promoting turbulence. These can be used for the wide range of surfaces including tubes, ducts and heat exchanger plates. Key parameters in this are geometry and corrugation angle. The shape, size and distribution of roughness elements affect the heat transfer enhancement significantly. Increased angle lead to optimized roughness and higher turbulence thus have a better thermal performance. TF TPF in this generally is between 1.2 to 2.1. Next one is perforated inserts. So as we can see, perforated inserts means there will be perforations in the plate or the coil. 
Here is one example of this. There is a helical coil and in that inserts, perforated inserts are generated. Perforated inserts such as perforated twisted tips, helical perforated and winglet tips are designed to balance heat transfer enhancement with pressure drop. The perforations reduce the flow resistance leading to a lower pressure drop while maintaining and enhancing heat transfer rate. The size and the distribution of perforations affect both pressure drop and heat transfer. Smaller but evenly distributed perforations tend to offer the best balance between these factors thus optimizing performance. In this, the TPF phase between is generally up to 1.71, making them effective for applications where the pressure drop is a critical consideration. So in this you can see that a helical coil is combined with perforations and this is the coil type insert which we talked some while ago. Next comes fins and winglets. Fins and winglets are used to increase the effective surface area for heat transfer. When these are coupled with vortex generators, they significantly enhance the overall heat transfer performance by inducing longitudinal vortices that increase turbulence and disrupt, disrupt boundary layer. Some of the key parameters in this are fin geometry and winglet design. The TPF of this generally exceeds 1.5, especially in the conf configurations where they are combined with other enhancement techniques such as corrugation or twisted tips. Now the conclusion. So selection of appropriate technique depends on our requirement like the pressure drop, the heat transfer performance, including the desired heat transfer rate, available space and energy consumption limits. Then we have design optimization. The geometry and configuration of heat transfer surface or flow path can be optimized to maximize heat transfer coefficient. Material selection. This is also very important as the thermal conductivity and durability of materials used in heat transfer enhancement devices such as fins or inserts are critical factors in de determining their effectiveness. So I hope that everyone was able to know a lot about this in my project and thank you for being till the end.